update version 1.18 will be released on June 10th. Uh, this battle version has been updated. You can check battle version replay theaters. So storm missions in store mode have been changed to reflect this. Greater balance of fixed bugs. Universal mechanics. We made it more rewarding to use moves that have been underutilized and techniques requiring challenging inputs while also making the controls more comfortable. Roman cancel. Canceling into normal or special moves from Roman cancel now triggers a slowdown effect and limits the tension gauge cost. Okay, so you can RC. So if I do RC heat knuckle, I don't. It limits the tension gauge cost. Weird. Sounds good, but I don't know. But slowdown effect. So if you go into a special, that that might be crazy. Me going into a slowdown Garuda. Sounds. I don't know. Possibility sign. Like that's a big change in one little sentence. Counter hit. Some moves such as standing P and crouching K now trigger a slowdown effect on counter hit, making combos not normally possible available. Ooh. That sounds, that's what they were showing before. Okay, that's, okay. Flawless defense. We looked into finding a way to improve the issue where sometimes a normal attack would come out with inputting faultless defense or certain conditions. However, due to a high chance of losing control responsiveness when changing the current input method, we addressed the issue by adding a faultless defense button. That's really cool. I'm not going to use it, but that's really cool. Revised input mechanism. Really good call by them to add a faultless defense button. For moves with same input for the grounded and aerial version, example, Baikin's Tommy Gaishi, as a measure to make the usage of the grounded and aerial version distinct for some characters, when special moves was input as a jump started, the aerial version will come out a low height, midair, if upward direction was inputted. Okay, this is a little strict input requirement. So we made the grounded version activate even when an upwards input is included. Wh what? So this sense saying they're taking away they're taking away tiger knees. Did I read that right? I think that means they took away tiger knee. I'm for, if you read that, if that's how you, ex uh, yeah, I, that's I was not what I was expecting. Note about move input input priority for special moves. This refers to general input mechanisms. The game not to change main dispatch when an input size includes priorities, but when input is prioritized. This, I don't know. That doesn't sound very good, but okay. As a hidden mechanic, but we decided to reveal as a accordance with the above change to how moves inputs are handled. Special moves canceling into oh wow, that's that's they just made Tiger Knee really hard. Wow, that's like a huge nerf to Biken. <laughs> I would say Gia. It's a huge nerf to Biken and Axel. Axel uses Tiger Knees in like all of his combos. Okay. This change also is uh special moves canceling into overdrives before coming out. Change, although it has several purposes, it mainly intended to make it easier to perform overdrives. Overdrive is super, right? Where part of the input is the same as special move. For example, Foss, what could it be? And what, what could this be? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you throw out the special move, then it goes into overdrive. Okay, that's a good change. Input priority for normal moves. Under certain conditions, inputs for crouching normals and command normals will now be prioritized over standing normals. For example, previously when inputting 2S during the hit stop of close standing S, if you release down quickly, oh, this happens to me all the time with heavy slash. Or saying S would not come out. However, with this change, crouching S would come out. Okay, that's I've had this issue with crouch when I try to do crouching heavy punch with Potemkin. It comes out as 5S or 5H. Oh, that's interesting. Jumping attacks. As many characters had less utility for their jumping P compared to the other aerial attacks, Potemkin uses jumping P. Just the blowback effect on hit, making it easier to convert into a combo. Okay, I'm down with that. Dash cancels. While this was previously only available to some characters, all characters with dashes can now dash cancel their standing K and close uh, standing as. Oh, so every character can... So every character can cancel that now, that's dope. Well, not every character could cancel their close staying S with a dash. Cool. I would never know, because I play. <laughs> In addition to increasing the variety of offensive options, there this also creates new combos if you quickly cancel the dash into a special move. Yeah. Overall damage adjustments. This doesn't matter to pot too much. Some highly used moves with great versatility have had their damage decreased. Overdrives that work as well as counterattacks had their attack, startup, recovery, etc. revised their damage remain unchanged. It makes it easier to punch them when blocked. Okay. 
changes. Roman can't. Oh, I could have just read this. Blue Roman made it. Now triggers a slowdown effect. Now causes the tension gauge to gradually deplete. Oh, gradually deplete. Oh, so you still have access to meter for a little bit. That doesn't... Wait, what? Apply to yellow RC cancel. Close proximity to the opponent. I'm a little confused, but I guess we'll see. Because uh, there's no EXs, so like the only use for meter is RC and super. I don't know. Blue Roman made the tie-in canceling into a normal or special move faster. Made the tie-in canceling into a normal special move faster. Slow down effect. Purple Roman cancel. Red Roman cancel. No longer applies any type of scaling. When the shockwave from Red Roman cancel hits the opponent, Red RC doesn't have scaling anymore. That's huge. Guys, usually you delay combos and stuff simply because Purple RC... Purple RC would just not add the scaling... Which, but, okay. Blue Psych Burst. When the player inputs Psych Burst before the opponent's overdrive activates, the Psych Burst activation will no longer be cancelled. Okay. I've had that happen. But sometimes, you know. Fix a bug where activating the Psych Burst hitbox would be delayed under certain circumstances. Okay. Dash. When input when input using the dash button, inputting after the action is no longer forms a back dash. Cool. Input priority during a hit stop moves that require a down input. Yeah, he brought that. some jumping normal. Span on the current moves movement speed of the attacking character. The launch and blowback of the opponent is now changed. Change applies to jumping normals not previously impacted by above mechanic. Those moves that can now be canceled into an overdrive before the move comes out. Okay, yeah, that, that's a really good change. A lot of fighting games have that, so I'm happy they added that. Um, some overdrives. Some overdrives are now affected by prior movements such as dash momentum. What? Some overdrives are now affected by prior movement such as dash momentum. So that means Kai Kisuke can dash before ride the lightning and go even farther? Maybe? That... Pfft. Follows defense. Add a follows defense button. Decreased amount of tension gauge depleted when blocking attacks. Wall stick. When a wall stick initiates simultaneously with the super flash of certain overdrives, the wall stick effect will now be prioritized. Okay. Wall break. Fix the bug where there would be variation in the distance between the characters after the wall break seems to paint on a condition such as the stage when wall break was triggered by an overdrive. Oh, I didn't know that. Fix the bug where the risk level would deplete more than intended when activating Roman cancel during a throw under certain conditions. Aerial direction switch. Characters now switch in directions to face the opponent when canceling someone's jumping normals into another move late into the animation. That sounds good. Jump landing. I have that issue with Giovanna sometimes. Fix a bug where sometimes only crouching moves could be performed under certain conditions. Now trigger slow down. Oh, so every button triggers slow. Or, oh my god. Okay, so P and K, no matter what, will trigger slow down on counter hit. That's cool. I'm down with that. Counter hits should be rewarded, I guess. Can now be dash cancelled. Not apply to Potemkin and Nagariyuki. Can now be dash cancelled. Not apply to Potemkin and Nagariyuki. Now let's just point less than previously when used multiple times in the same combo. That actually might be a nerf to Potemkin. We'll see. Some hurt boxes. Adjust the size of some hurt boxes while taking damage. Mid damage hurt boxes were, that were more difficult than others to hit during combos have been expanded. Well, okay, so bad guy. Let's start with you. Alright, who, who are we kidding? Potemkin Garuda Impact is now easier to follow up. Garuda Impact is now easier to follow up when near the corner, even on an aerial hit, making punishing the opponent backdash more rewarding. Let's go! Giganter Kai, used to function as both an invincible move and a way to maintain offense. It no longer has invincibility, but has been improved as a tool to maintain offensive pressure. It now works in block streams after 6k. Oh, okay. Opening up the potential for a high-low mix-up with a dust attack or sweep. We're going for guard crush with Garuda Impact. So, Potemkin no longer has a wake-up super. So, Potemkin now does not have a reversal. Honestly... Not the worst thing ever. Uh, yeah. Standing K. Reduce frontal hurt box. What? 
Oh, Hurt Box. Oh, lovely. Never mind. Keep it up. Good change. Decrease knockback. Love that change. That sounds very good. Yes. Reduce knockback on crouching K. I'm with it. Crouching S. Reduce frontal hurt box. You've done it again, Guilty Gear. Great changes. Reduce frontal hurt box. Holy shit. Nice. This is good news. Wow. I'm liking these changes. So, hey, I don't need the way. Hey, keep buffing me like this. I don't even need the wake up super. I got back mega fist. 6H. Reduce frontal hurt box. Let's go. Reduce horizontal blowback distance. Reduced horizontal blowback distance. That's either going to be a godsend or going to nerf the shit out of pot. Because hitting people with 6H is one of your best ways to get out of the corner. Slash get stage control. But if I can combo after 6H easier... Nah, uh, you know, I'm kind of... Uh, the opponent can no longer recover after laying on counter hit. Can no longer... It's a hard knockdown? Yo, that's... Okay, never mind. Great changes, Guilty Gear Strive. Reduce tumble duration on counter hit. We'll see. We'll see what all this means. Now launch his opponent higher with decreased horizontal blowback distance. Okay, that's so I can combo off jump P. Sweet. Jump K. Now launch his opponent lower. Why would I want to launch them lower with jump K? That doesn't make any... Who's sending me mess? Oh, it's a Steam update. Make this war. Reduce damage. Guilty Gear Strive. Come on, man. What are you doing? Make of his backwards. Reduce damage. Bro, what are they... What are they thinking at Arc System Software? I don't really... It matters how much... If it's like a couple points, I don't really care. It makes it so Mega Fist isn't the same reward as other options now. Because a lot of times you just go Mega Fist for Oki. So they're making it pretty much... I think the reason for this change is because Mega Fist is the same amount as... Flick? Is it Flick? Some other button does the same amount. Let's see. I do Mega Fist, Mega Fist... Oh, Heat Knuckle. So Mega Fist does the same amount as Heat Knuckle would. Or two Heat Knuckles would. So now it's like you can either go for Oki or you can go for damage, I guess. We'll see. Hammerfall, the opponent can no longer cover after laying on counter hit. Increase maximum four movement time possible. The opponent can, so if they hit, hit by Hammerfall, which is the move where he slides across the screen. After laying on counter hit, oh, okay, so I get a hard knockdown on counter hit. Lit, that's, that's godlike. Increase maximum forward movement time possible. I can go farther? That is so good for 6H combos that they didn't just change 6H. So big buff, big buff on Hammerfall. FDB, which is Flake. Reduce base damage scaling. They did that last patch. They just, they nerfed this twice and no one uses it. What? what? They did this last patch and I, I already barely use Flick in combos. Now depletes less risk level. Okay, that's good. Reduce combo blowback scaling. Okay, now causes less wall break value gain. You know, honestly, out of any move they nerf, I'm cool with FDB, but I'm just very confused. It is like, no, there's only one combo you use Flick with, and it's if you have him in the corner. And it's like at the end of the combo anyway. It's weird. Oh, I guess there is a counter hit Flick combo. Okay, maybe that's why they nerfed it again. Yeah, they reduced the base damage scaling twice now on Flick. Weird. I'm just trying to figure it out. Uh, Groot Impact. Decreased damage. Okay, understandable. Removed wall bounce effect. Added tumble effect. What the fuck did this mean? That it is now easier to follow up when near the corner, even on air. Oh, never mind. That's a buff. That's a buff. That's a buff. That's a buff. So instead of getting a blowback, they'll just fall while burned. Oh, that's actually really good. Remove wall bounce effect. Added tumble effect. Wait. So they'll land on the ground, but then I can pick them back up. I can scoop them back up with 5k. Interesting. That, that's one of those changes. Just like 6h, that's one of those changes that I'm like, it might be really good. Okay, so Giganter Kai, they took away its invulnerability. Flick meta nerfed. It's, you know. Projectile now appears even if the strike hit lands. Projectile now appears even if the strike hit lands. Oh, so I flick no matter what. Cool. Damn it. Wait, that's Giganter Kai. What am I talking about? Project now appears. Oh, so my so the wall always comes out. 
Damage and blowback adjusted in line with this change. They didn't say how it's adjusted. Removed invincibility. Yeah, increased duration and tension penalty. Re I don't know what that means. Reduced attack startup. Okay, so the wall comes out faster. Cool. Reduced recovery. Okay, it's safer on blocks. Sweet, sweet. Expand hitbox with a strike hit. Okay, so the hitbox of the initial first hit goes out farther. No longer gains tension when the strike hit lands. That makes sense. I can't believe it did before. No longer triggers wall break when the strike hit lands. No longer triggers wall break when the strike hit lands. That is such a huge buff. You guys have no idea. You know how many times I hit? That's huge. That is actually huge. The projectile now de decelerates when close to the corner. Oh my, yo. I, I, I'm going to say it. I like these Giganter Kai changes. I'm actually surprised because I thought it was just going to be a nerf. Okay. Good adjustment. I like that. Uh, overall, it looks like Pot got buffed, especially on hitboxes. That's been my biggest complaint is that I lose almost every trade, especially against chips, so this will be good. Uh, I can't believe they did on 5K. I'm going to be honest. 5K is already ridiculous, so I'm very surprised they made, they're made they making 5K even better. Uh, but yeah, FDB, this is the only... the Honestly, the only big change that I'm like, what the fuck is FDB? It makes no sense. It makes zero sense why they nerfed they they nerfed FDB in the exact same way they did last patch. Maybe it's a maybe they just left it in by accident, but I don't know. Weird. All right, soul bad guy. Let's see. Standing K decrease attack level. Okay, that's good. Increase base scaling. Incre okay, that's great. Let's go. It deserves it does way too much damage. I agree. Let's go. Nerfs to soul. Let's go. Now it depletes more risk level. Okay, great. Increase combo blowback scaling on combos with standing K as a starter. Let's go. Nerf to 5k, but still 3 frames. So honestly, good adjustment. Oh. Crouching K, decrease knockback. Wait, he doesn't need... Or saying S, decrease damage. Wow, they're nerfing Soul's damage. 6S, decrease damage. <laughs> okay. There's no complaint in here, guys. They didn't nerf Potem... Oh, no, they didn't nerf Potemkin's damage, actually. I take it back. 6H... Which one's... Oh, his fast startup. Increased recovery. Okay, I guess. Expand upwards hitbox. Okay, so it, it can anti-air better. That's good. Decrease knockback. That's bad. Yeah, that those two together equals bad. Okay, so far almost all nerfs on soul. Wow. Sweep. Expand frontal hitbox and hurtbox. Expanded frontal hitbox and hurtbox. Okay, so it goes farther. That's cool. I'm okay with that. It, did, it was pretty small. Increased horizontal blowback distance. Increased horizontal blow. Okay. So it pushes people farther. Why would you want your sweep to push them farther? You want them close. Why you want 6H to anti or what the fuck? It's okay. It, 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 I've jumped over it a thousand times. So I'm like, it doesn't look like it would. Jumping P. Now launches opponent higher. Yeah, everyone got that change. Now launches opponent higher. Oh, jump K does too. Nice. Jumping D. That's where your pots goes lower now. Jumping D. Reduce frontal hitbox. Jumping D. Oh, yeah. Jump D. I know what jump D is, of course. Dust loops. Reduce frontal hurtbox. Okay, so buff. Now it causes less wall break value gain. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. That's a fun change. That literally means that they're trying to add dust loops to soul. Okay. That's the first good buff he's got is right here on jump D, besides the universal ones. Sweep might be good, but it's kind of hard to tell. Ground throw, decrease recovery upon successful throw. Okay, gun flame, faint, decrease recovery. Gun flame, faint, decreased recovery. So his faint's going to be even faster now. Wow. That's that's a big buff. Uh, Volcanic Viper. Soul is now in standing position on landing. Let's go. Thank. This is the change I wanted. I get so mad when Soul DPs and then he low profiles my attack. Soul is now staying in position on landing rather than crouching. Thank God. Added a hitbox directly after ascent begins, and the hitbox now remains throughout. Wait, added a hitbox directly. Wait, full kind of. Way. After ascent begins, and the hitbox now remains throughout throughout the whole thing. Okay. Expand a hitbox during ascent and reduced hurtbox. Expand hitbox during ascent. So off start and reduce hurtbox. Okay. No longer be Roman cancel while the opponent's gold psych burst is active. Oh, okay. With blocked midair, the opponent now lands more quickly than before. 
Oh, that's great. Let's go. So they can punish it easier. Well, for can I buy browser version? Increase attack start. It's not seven frames? Was it seven or nine? Wow. Okay. I am down with these changes. Aerial Bandit Bringer. Decrease attacks. Oh, there's one change. I don't think they're going to nerf it, but or, or, uh, add more recovery on Bandit Bringer. Decrease attacks start up. Okay, so it's faster. That's scary. Night Raid Vortex. That's the low. Now launches point higher with decreased horizontal blowback distance. Okay, so we can combo easier off Night Raid. That's fine. Fafnir. Reduce lower hitbox. Reduce the lower hitbox. Oh, okay. Tyrant Rave. Increased attack start. Cool. This needed a buff. Increased recovery. Increased. Re okay, so it's easier to punish and it's faster start. That's a really good change. I'm not going to lie. That the dive. Bandit Bringers, the kick. The, the Tiger Knee. I think. I'm pretty sure. And did, no, it's the punch. Oh, I got confused. I get Souls moves confused all the time. Kai Kisuke. I'll just read the notes. Eh, whatever. The Dire class has been decreased, made easier to buffer after normal moves. It's now easy to follow up while in the corner. The usage restriction on Stun Edge has been revised, and the recovery of Aerial Stun Edge has been decreased. Further improving Kai's ability to fight from far range. It is now possible to continue your offense after the opponent blocks Dragon install. Good. That, I, I'm, I'm scared that Kai's about to be the best character in the game. After activation, the movement speed of this forward movement dash ETC has been in increased greatly, improving his neutral game. Crouching K decreased knockback. Everyone's got that. 6K, which is his low kick, can now be canceled in special moves. Oh, okay, interesting. Close stand. I'm going to. Sorry, this thing distracts me. Sure, Steam. Go ahead and restart. Bar saying S. Bar saying S. Reduce frontal hurt box. <laughs> I don't, I don't like this. I don't like where this is going, guys. Reduced recovery on close stain S. I don't like where this is going, guys. Oh, I really think Kai's about to be the best character in the game. Let's read all of it, though. Crouching S. Reduced frontal hurt box. That's his easiest whiff punishable move. They already buffed far stain S twice now with the hurt box and recovery. What the? Jumping peak. Now launch his opponent higher with decreased horizontal blowback distance. Everyone got that. Jump K. Opponent's higher. Same combo. Jumping S. Reduce frontal hurt box. That's his best jump button already. It's going to be better now. My eyes are bugging right now. Uh, Jumping H. Now launch his opponent higher when decreased to horizontal blowback distance. Okay, he can combo off jump H. Okay, jump D. Can now be jump canceled and air dash canceled. That'll be fun. Can now be canceled the special moves. Oh, okay. So he can jump H, jump D, fireball on the air. Okay, cool. Or go into super. Uh, can now launch the opponent on grounded hit. Can now launch the opponent on grounded hit. That's fucking massive. Please don't tell me it's an overhead. Now launches opponent. It might have already been. Now launches opponent higher with decreased horizontal bow back distance. Can now be canceled a finishing blow during a homing jump. A homing jump? Ground throw. Reduce recovery upon successful throw. Now launches opponent lower with decreased horizontal blow back distance. Shock state. Effects now ends when Kai takes damage. Okay. That's good. I like that. It's like all the other characters. Stun edge. Usage restriction is now removed after a set amount of time passes. Huh? Wait, which one's Stun Edge? I don't remember which one Stun Edge is. Oh, well. Aerial Stun Edge. Air okay, so... Oh, it's his projectile. Usage restriction is now removed after a set amount of time passes. Okay, cool. So, AK, he can throw two fireballs while the other fireball's still on screen. That's pretty huge. Aerial Stun Edge, reduced recovery. Uh oh. I don't like that at all. Dude, Kai's about to be the best... Yeah, the Fireball. Kai's about to be the best character in the fucking game. Charge Stun Edge. Usage Restriction is now removed after a set amount of time passage. Charge... Oh, yeah, big Fireball. Well, there are... This is Flip Kick. Decrease attack level of initial half of active frames. What? Reduced recovery? He's more plus on Flip Kick? 
Decreased attack level of initial half of active... I don't know what the fuck that means. Vapor Thrust. Expanded to lower hitbox. Um, it's kind of lower. Vapor Thrust is... DP, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So lower hitbox can no longer be Roman cancel while the opponent's gold psych burrs out. When blocked midair, the opponent now lands. Okay, so same thing as soul. Diary Clay, that's his uh like weird attack thing. Reduced recovery. Why? It's like one of the only things you can punish him on. Dude. I'm just saying, guys. Hey, drop soul, pick up Kai. What the fuck? That's like one of his only air fireball on this were like his only two moves you could punish. Okay, I guess, and also a slide if he doesn't have meter, but they only use it when they have meter. And now they both don't seem punishable because it was like negative six. We ought to be living in Kai's world, literally. This is typical Guilty Gear fashion to buff Kai until he's broken, but dragon install. Increased movement speed of forward movement. Okay, I'm, I like the dragon install changes though because that shit sucks. Both, both of these characters, Dragon and Saul, suck ass. Increased movement speed of forward movement, backward movement, and dash. Okay, so he moves faster now. Holy shit. Decreased horizontal blowback distance. Decreased recovery. Okay, cool. I'm okay with that. Dragon and Saul's cool, so I'm down. How is uh, Potemkin looking? He got buffs, really good buffs, a couple nerfs. His um his Giganter Kai got reworked, so he no longer has a reversible wake up, but it seems better. It seems like overall be better. We just don't have a wake up option besides back Mega Fist. Uh they made changes to six H. And then they did two nerfs. They nerfed two big nerfs. They nerfed Mega Fist damage. So Mega Fist now does less damage. And then um they they nerfed Flick again. I I don't understand why they... I don't mind the Mega Fist nerf, to be honest. It's kind of fair. But I don't know why they nerfed Flick again. I don't, I barely use it as it is now. Why would, like So now it's like, okay, it's even worse now. Cool, got it. Uh, But then he got some big buffs. So if you get a counter hit on 6H, they're, they're, they're forced knockdown. You got a counter hit on Hammerfall, they get forced knockdown. Um, Yeah. I'll look over it again here a bit, but I already, I already looked, so I'm just going through the other characters. Yeah, hey, reduced attack. Star reduced attack. Oh, she has a faster standing P. Wow. 6P, just the animation opponent character on hit. Okay. <laughs> Probably just Mr. Dolphin Horizontal and Vertical is now vary when the button is held down. Okay. okay. Although they are straightforward lunge attacks, now in addition to their prior use may has more options to change the movement distance or active frames depending on how long the button is held oh interesting actually now she can just like ride the dolphin in and get off that's cool damage mega of sweep did <laughs> true, 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 you're right probably that's that's it saying k reduced attack startup oh they reduced the startup on her standing what that shit is so good oh well crouching k Decreased knockback. Yeah, everyone got that. Uh, slide. The opponent can now recover after landing. The opponent can now recover after land. Oh, so like if they swept me in the air, I'd still get swept. So now it doesn't do that. Okay. Zen H. Decreased damage. Big buff for the boys. Let's go. That shit's how she gets TODs in the corner. Expanded hor expanded frontal hurt box during recovery oh, okay i got so scared guys that thing this has the one of the biggest fucking disjoints so now you can whiff punish it easier that's a huge dub that's a dub for the team crouching h now launch his opponent lower i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing i assume a bad thing oh because now you can burst it oh that's how she has her burst save combo oh shit that's a nerf six h Decreased damage. Another big win for the boys. Let's go. Sweep. Expand frontal hitbox and hurtbox. Okay, cool. She has a farther sweep. Jumping P now launches the opponent higher. Jumping K launches higher. Jumping. Increased recovery. That 
is huge. She could hit Potemkin or Fa. Oh, no, maybe not Faust. I think Fa. She could hit Potemkin at the. It would be standing at the highest point, and she would still have a lot of advantage on landing. I think also she had slight advantage on Faust. So now has more recovery. Thank goodness that shit was pretty abusable. Mr. Dolphin horizontal version decreased damage. Oh, I thought I thought May was about to get buffed. Now I'm just looking like, what the fuck? Why is she getting nerfed? Mr. Dolphin uh, decreased damage. Active frames now increase when the button is held down. Now it maintains momentum after landing on whiff. Now it maintains momentum after landing on whiff. Oh, so she slides after Dolphin. Oh, that's scary. Mr. Dolphin vertical. Movement speed now increases when the button is held down. No longer hits opponent when more than a set distance apart. Reduce recovery on hit. Okay, so it's safer. Or is she in combo out of it or some shit? Uh, heavy slash version. When the descendant descending part of the attack hits, the opponent now bounces higher when de with decreased horizontal blowback. Dis oh, she, she can combo uh, her heavy dolphin easier. Increased speed of descent after hitting the opponent. Okay, so yeah, she can just combo off her heavy dolphin easier. The wonderful and dynamic Goshigara. Got problem. When blocked midair, the opponent now lands more quickly than before. Increased recovery. Okay, cool. Easier to punish your giant dolphin. Wake up. Totsugeki. Winter Mana can now be used in combos. Okay. In a situation where Sickle Flash would not connect, Winter Mana can now sometimes be used in follow-up. Okay. Okay. In the corner, 6k and Rainwater can now be used more easily in combos. Alright. In addition to improving the utility of pokes such as Crouching P and Star Far Saint S, the ability to fight from mid-range has also been strengthened by adjusting the attack startup of Aerial Snail. Made easier to connect after jumping S. I should just read these. Crouching P. I don't fuck, I, I guess I gotta go through all these. This is gonna take me a long time. There's a lot of characters in this game, you guys know that. Expand frontal hurt box. Expanded frontal hit box. Oh. Crouching P. Okay, I'm okay with that. Crouching or 6P. Now launches his opponent on grounded on grounded hit. Oh shit. Like Giovanna. Now launches his opponent higher with decreased horizontal blowback. Distance. Okay, he can combo off 6P easier. Crouching K decreased blowback. Not decreased knockback. I was hoping there'd be a second change to crouching K. Nope. They just made that thing's gonna be way better now. Than it was before. It's already so good. 6K, but I don't think he really needs nerves. 6K added wall bounce effect. I can't even think what his 6K looks like right now. Close saying S, reduce recovery. Okay. Far saying S, reduce recovery. What? Uh, all right. Sure. Span from a hitbox and reduce her. Uh, you know, they did take away his. Uh, Fucking, uh, whatever you call it, tiger knee combos, apparently. So, I guess. Expanded frontal hitbox, a reduced hurt box. Sorry, I just want the notification to go away. Okay. Increased knockback at 6H. I can't, I can't even think of what his 6H is. Jumping P, launch opponent lower with decreased horizontal blowback distance. Now launch his opponent higher. Jump D, reduce frontal hip hurt box. Reduce frontal hurt box. Wow. You go button. Winter Mantis can now hit opponents while they're taking damage. Winter Mantis. Mant I always just call it Mantis. Which rainwaters the jump. That the one that he flips is snail. Uh, I don't know. Winter, I can't think of what Mantis is right now. I don't know why. Aerial Snail, reduced attack startup. Aerial Snail, reduced attack startup. Now bounces opponent higher with decreased horizontal blowback distance. Cool. Rainwater, reduce base damage scaling. Now depletes more risk level. Increase combo blowback scaling. Reduce combo blowback scaling on combos with rainwater as a starter. <laughs> what the fuck? Now causes more wall break value gain. Now less affected by combo blowback scaling. This is okay. Now launches opponent higher with decreased horizontal blowback distance. Expand upper hitbox. I think this is a buff, but it's hard to tell with all these. 
Axel Bomber. That's his uh, DP or his yeah. Oh, they made it so it's just a. Oh, they made it easier. Uh, an ultra point less than previously when you use multiple times in the same combo. Launch the point less. Okay. Sickle Storm. When blocked midair, the opponent now lands more quickly than before. Moved hitbox and project all over. Okay. He got buffed, but not crazy buffed. Kind of what he needed. Chip. I'll just read the notes. Crouching K. Decreased knockback. Yeah, yeah. Close standing S. Reduced recovery. Chip doesn't need to be more plus guilty gear. Far standing S. Reduce hurt box during attack startup. Oh, oh, only during the startup. Okay, I'm okay with that. As long as I can whiff punish it. Jumping P. Now launch opponent higher. Yeah, yeah. Now launch opponent higher. Yeah, yeah. Alpha blade diagonal. No longer hits an opponent when more than a set distance apart. Okay. Alpha blade diagonal. So up. Alpha blade horizontal. No longer hits an opponent when more than a set distance apart. Collision detection now activates sooner. Oh, so it hits faster? I don't know. Very alpha blade diagonal. Chip now lands a greater distance forward than before. Oh, wow. So you can escape the corner easier. Wow. Decreased recovery. No longer hits opponent with more than a set distance apart. Okay, I'm not sure this could be a nerf, but I'm not entirely sure. Now depletes more risk level. Increased combo blowback scaling. Now causes more wall break value gain. Now launches opponent higher on grounded hit. I'm a little scared. Beta blade. All versions can no longer be Roman canceled while the opponent gold psych burst. Uh, when blocked, bid air. This is DP, right? Uh, I think. Unless it's Gamma Blade. When blocked, bid air, the opponent now lands more quickly than before. Increased attack startup. Yeah, it's, it's, that's his DP. Gamma Blade. Increased attack level. Cool. Now launches opponent higher on grounded hit. Which one's Gamma Blade? Gamma Blade. I know Alpha Blade. I know, I think I know Beta Blade. That's DP. Gamma Blade. Is Gamma Blade his Rekka's? No, because he doesn't use his blade. What the fuck is... Maybe if I read all, I understand. Increased attack level. Now launches opponent higher on grounded hit. Now launch opponent lower with decreased horizontal blowback distance. Now completes more risk level. Increased combo blowback scaling. Now causes more wall break value gain. Now launch opponent less than pre previously when used multiple times in the same combo. Increased tumble duration. It might be. I don't remember. No, Senshu is the Rekka, right? I forget. Reduced attack startup. Reduced recovery. Now creates less distance with opponent hit on hit in the corner. The opponent can now recover after land. Oh, that's actually good. Now creates less distance with opponent on hit in the corner. Oh, on hit. Never mind. Now the opponent can now recover after landing. Okay. Now depletes less risk level. Reduce combo blowback scaling on combos with Senshu as a starter. Now causes less wall break and value gain. Now bounce opponent lower with decreased horizontal blowback. I'm gonna be honest. I can't remember what all these. I can't remember these two are. I feel bad. Bankai. Masai. Changed input from to what? Oh, to P. Okay, cool. I know if you guys just got here, I've already looked at Potemkin. I'll go over it real quick. So essentially, um, Garuda now works differently, so it has less damage. It so you don't get a bounce anymore, but it adds a tumble effect. So if you anti or someone with Garuda, they don't like go and bounce off the wall. They just tumble down. You can like pick them back up. Ganter Kai is no longer a wake up. But now, um, the wall, like, the initial hit doesn't break wall, and the, they, they're trying to make the wall part of the super more important. So, that's cool. It still has the initial hit, but yeah, it's not, it's not invincible anymore. And then he got some good hitbox buffs. 6H has been reworked a little bit. It's hard to really say what it does. Uh, but now, if you get a counter, it's hard knockdown. Same with a hammer fall. If you get a, if you get a, uh... Whatever. I didn't notice they I didn't notice the change to Potemkin Buster. Reduce frontal hurt box. Oh. So that's a good thing. Uh but yeah, now Hammerfall will have if you get counter hit, it has a hard knockdown at DB you got nerfed. Okay. Fost. Dude. There my jaw hurts from talking. <laughs> now let's just put a higher standing cake, span lower hitbox. Standing K expanded lower hitbox. Oh shit! So it's harder to uh low profile. 
Crouching, reduce attack, startup. They made his crouching K better. Alright, I feel like that's not the change he needed, but okay. It didn't get reduced pushback, though. I'll notice that. Every other character did. Close standing S. Reduce recovery, that's fine. Far standing S. Reduce recovery. That's eh, okay. Reduce frontal hurt box, nice. Crouching S, S. Now launches opponent on grounded, that's just S. Now launches opponent on grounded hit. Oh, that's cool. Now launches opponent higher. Oh, that's good. Some more juggles with his uh, weird fucking whatever that move is, right? Stand H, follow up. Standing H, follow up. Oh, okay. The opponent can no longer recover after laying on counter hit. Oh, 6H, added stagger effect. Oh, really? That's a scalpel, right? His 6H. Interesting. Jumping P, now launch opponent higher. Jumping K, now launch opponent higher. Jumping dive kick. Increase dam. Ooh, he has more damage on dive kick. Interesting. Jumping H. Reduce frontal hurt box. Which one's H? I think I know which one it is. I could be wrong. Mix, mix, mix. <sighs> Made the timing of controlling FOSS movement directions with back four input faster. Okay. Full back direction now matches the direction FOSS is facing. Okay. The final hit during. The active frames now has the same properties regardless of the number of hits. The final hit during the active frames now has the same. Pro so it, so it, if he starts off, and it would have broke wall halfway through, it'll now just break wall at the end. I think that's cool. Do you even play this game occasionally? Banana peel. Banana peel can no longer hit multiple characters at the same time. I didn't know it did that. Afro explosion added guard crush effect. That's huge. That is huge. Meteors added ground bounce effect. What? Okay. Blowback direction now matches the direction meteors are falling from. All right. Didn't know it did before. Mini Foss. Hitbox now activates directly after coming into contact with the opponent or being attacked. Hitbox now activates directly after coming into contact with the opponent or being attacked. Oh. So I can't slap him anymore? So he just instantly attacks. He doesn't he doesn't have a wind up anymore. So you used to like hit him and he'd go like Rah! and then jump and attack you. So now he just instantly jumps and attacks you. That sounds fucking massive. Bad for setups, but eh, whatever. Scarecrow. Now only charges at the same button used to activate the attack is held down. Okay. Oh I get that's a good change. Scarecrow P and K version. Now launch the opponent higher, so that's the grounded ones, not the one where he goes in the air. Now launch opponent higher. Reduced attack startup. Reduced attack startup? Oh shit. Okay. Honestly, I'm okay with that. Scarecrow, all versions. Attack animation now begins when the button is released. Thrust. Reduce frontal hurt box. Oh, that's that's the okay. Okay. Reduce frontal hurt box. So it's maybe you won't be able to 6P it. I don't know. We'll see from full screen. Love. Increased damage on initial hit. Projectile now appears even when the move is Roman cancel at an earlier point than before. Love. I don't know which attack love is. I know bone crushing excitement. Love. I don't know. Apparently a projectile. Is that his air is that his bag? It might be his bag. That would make sense. Uh, bone crushing excitement. Expanded upper hitbox. Okay. Oh, that's good. So we can combo that easier. Full back uh, direction now matches the direction Foss is facing. Foss is now closer to the opponent after the cinematic ends. Oh, that's cool. Good buffs. It's the airborne head throw. Good looks. Okay, that's what I thought it was, but I was 100% sure. Good looks. Yeah, overall, obviously, Foss got buffed. Doesn't seem too crazy, but it seems pretty nice. Seems like he'll be a lot more fun. Let's see if Amelia got buffed. Uh, crouching P, reduce attack star. Oh, she has a faster crouching P. Crouching K, reduce knockback, reduce upper hurt box. Okay. Big buffs are 2K. Close standing S, reduced recovery. Just like a lot of characters. Ooh, but it's at the multi hit, right? Damn. Change the on hit effect of the second hit. Change the on hit effect of the second hit. Uh, okay. 
Farsane S. Reduce attack startup. Oh, shit. That's huge. Expand frontal hitbox and hurtbox. Okay, so it goes farther, too. So it has less startup and goes farther now. That's pretty crazy. Good for her, though. Obviously missing deals, but better normals and less mega fist spam. Sounds genuinely great. Um, yeah, it's overall sounds like a buff. It's it's some of the things I have to test because some of it's like I'm a little iffy. I can't tell if it's good or bad. But overall, buff. Sucks he misses his reversal, but his reversal is like 19. It was 11 to 19 frame startup or some shit. I think it was 11 frame startup. So honestly, whatever. I didn't even need it anyway. <sighs> I do I do clutch out some games by using Wake Up Super, but that's okay. Playing more defensive has never never been a bad thing to me. I can make less stupid decisions. Still a bit, uh, viability and the reduced damage. Just spent like 200 hours grinding those. True. Seb's in a reversal. I 100% agree with you. But we'll see. Seems a lot better, especially the wall changes. Where were we? Um... Let's say an S, for saying S. Say an H, reduce frontal hurt box. Oh, shit. Okay, that'll be way better now. They bear, honestly, only the really good um, milieus use this button at all in neutral, but now I can see people using it way more. Jumping P, higher, higher. Jumping S, reduce frontal hurt box. It is, it, this, this and the Kai one make no sense to me. They're their best buttons. Her jump S and Kai's jump S are so good, and they made them even better. Oh, jumping D expand. She needs buffs. Kai, dude, I'm saying it right now. Kai looks like he is he is about to be scary. Jumping D expand frontal hitbox and reduce hurt box. Which one's jumping D? Oh, I know what it is. The combo one. Expand frontal hitbox and reduce hurt box. Okay, now launch his opponent on grounded hit. Oh shit, that's really good. That'll be fun. Ground throw increase recovery upon successful throw. Increase recovery on successful throw. So she'll so she won't be able to do the disc as freely. Interesting. Bad moon. The final hit now launches opponent higher with decreased horizontal blowback distance. Oh, so she might be able to combo off uh the bad moon. Wow. Turbo fall. Reduce recovery. Oh, she just falls fast, right? I don't remember. Kingdom top. Is that a projectile? Reduce recovery hitbox no longer disappears and Milia blocks the opponent's attack. Oh, really? Yeah, this is her. This is her projectile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hitbox no longer disappears. Dude, that's huge. Because I, I back Mega Fist her and hit her all the time and not get hit. Wow, that's actually huge for her. So that means I can't do those degenerate wake up Mega Fist against her anymore. Well, not as free. I, I'll still take the trade. Tandem top. Increase knockback. Okay, that's cool. Unless it's on oh, it's on block too. Ooh, maybe I don't like that because it's punishable. Iron Savior, that's hair car, right? Yeah. Decrease horizontal blowback distance. Okay, so she can combo use it. Expand frontal hitbox. Okay, less shaker. That's the uh, rapid buttons. Fix a bug where the final hit would sometimes not cause blowback. Capel. Change properties from strike to projectile. Oh, that's her projectile super. Strike to projectile, I think. Reduce recovery, now affects by momentum. And, oh, so this is one of those supers that has momentum now. Increase damage, expand hitbox. Winger, increase attack startup, so it takes longer to start up. Increased recovery. Uh, when blocked midair, the opponent... Ally okay, so they're just, they're just doing a big nerf to DPs. Zato, please... Please let this be the patch where they don't just buff Zotto. If they buff Zotto again, this is literally just like the fucking buff Greninja thing in Smash. Better buff Greninja. I swear to God, they buff Zotto again. I'm going to be so mad. He, I honestly... Let's see. I'm scared. Betty is summoned. Zotto can now take more time going on the offensive due to the reduced rate of meter consumption. Increasing the de deceleration of jumping D comes out makes it less likely for him, them to, him to land. Improving it, its utility as an overhead, he can now trip up the opponent with difficult to react to strings from aerial attacks. 6H. Or 6 L, oh, right, the, the Scorpion. Okay, not terrible. I'm okay with that. Decrease in combo blowback and other kinds of scaling make it more rewarding to use that's a lot. In combos and strings, even if the drill hits multiple times. Oh, okay, so it's the drill. Use the combo blowback. Okay. 
Eddie, reduce meter depletion when not attacking. I'm okay with that. That's fine. 6B, adjust the animation of opponent character on hit. Okay, crouch K. Reduce not bad. Reduce attack startup. O is 2K is faster? Wow. Okay, that's a little scary. I'm okay with it, though. Close stand S, reduce recovery. A lot of characters got that. This is one I'm scared of. Crouching S, reduce frontal hurt box. Why? All right. Standing H. So now it's a slight disjoint. Standing H. Increased damage. I'm okay with that. Crouching H. Decreased damage. Let's go. Big win for the team. 6H. Reduced descent speed. Reduced descent speed. So it takes longer to start it. Okay. So, so now you can expect the mix easier. With the new buff to jumping D. Active frames on continue from the initial hit to the final hit. Okay, cool. That makes a lot of sense. Jumping K, now launch spot higher. Jumping S, H, sorry. The first half of the active frames now launches opponent higher with decreased horizontal blowback distance. All right. Jump D, decreased, uh, increased deceleration during startup. Pierce, that's the stabs. Delayed the timing when the eddy gauge is depleted. Initial hit now launches opponent higher. Reduced attack start up a second hit. Reduced reduced attack start. Wait, no, that's terrible. But Tipkin already can't do anything about it. So now most of the cast won't be able to do anything about it? What? You're just stuck in Pierce? That, that's a lot. Delayed the time. So like Soul, Geo might be the only people who are going to be able to deal with it. I don't know. That's a lot. The, Delayed the timing when the eddy or and ship. Maybe. Delayed the timing when the eddy gauge is depleted. Decreased damage. Yeah, it's a yeah, the the drills. All types of scaling will now only be applied once, even when the projectile hits multiple times. Okay. Leap. Decreased damage. Let's go. Expanded hurt box. Honestly, that's a buff. Amorpheus. Which super is... I don't know which super it is. I assume it's the shark. Increased movement speed of hitbox. Oh, that's... Oh, so it's the shark. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, Ram. Let's see what's changed. Dude, I will be here all night, dude. Fuck. Uh, I got work in the morning, so I'm a little scared. Why did that have to release it so late? Why can't they just release in the morning? Adjustments to the attack, startup, and recovery, crouching S have been improved. Utility, I'll just read this from down below. Dash canceling. Increased recovery. Okay. Good. Crouching K. Decreased not bad. Close standing S. Decreased recovery. Wait, no. Decreased recovery. That's good. Everyone got that. Wait, no. Wording's weird. Far standing S. Reduced upper hitbox. Oh, so her far saying S because can't uh, oh, anti is easy. Cool. Crouching S. I hope they don't nerf her too hard. Crouching S. Uh, reduced attack startup. Reduced recovery. So crouching S is a lot safer. Standing H. Reduced upper hitbox. And fast. Reduced upper hitbox. Same thing. Can't anti is easy. That's cool. Jumping P. Launch pull higher. Launch pull higher. I'm gonna be honest, I do not know the name of Ram's moves. Um But Janetto. Delayed timing when the projectile appears. Oh, so when th she throws her sword. When the projectile appears. Okay, so it comes out later. Attack start remains unchanged. Oh, okay. If Ramothal takes damage after firing a sword and before it reaches the corner, the hitbox disappears and the sword will be placed on the ground. Oh, that, that's huge. Decreased damage. Reduced hit. Okay, that's good. Reduced hitbox of the explosion. Oh, cool. Easier to get. So it's not as oppressive. And there's. If you. you Trading is now good for you, kind of. So it leaves you to stagger, though. Calvados laser super. Orbital DP super. Okay. 
Darrow dash punch. Got you. Increase movement movement distance. Okay, so she goes farther. No longer causes collision detect push box to expand. Huh? Causes collision detection push box. Oh, so she doesn't put oh, whatever. Agra Obradano. Reduced deceleration, lowered height of ascent. I assume that's her aerial sword. Uh Cavados decreased damage of of all hits other than the final hit and increased damage of final hit. Oh, cool. That, that's kind of cool. I don't mind that. That's the wake up super. Increased recovery. Increased recovery. Good. When blocked midair, the opponent ally. Oh, it still, it still has as fast as startup, though. Spanned box. Leo White Fang. So honestly, these nerfs aren't so bad. I'm going to be real. Ramifall, definitely you could say she got... Some of her things got nerfed, but honestly, she did not she did not get that nerfed. And I'm okay with that. Slight changes are fine to me. With all the other characters getting buffed, it kind of makes sense. The change to Zweets Uh let's see. I'll, I'm excited to see Sweep get nerfed. Standing K, increased recovery. Increased recovery. Okay. So his his uh Tiger and E thing is now has more recovery. That's really good. Crouching A, increased not back. Close standing S, reduced recovery. Uh, crouching S, reduced recovery. Which, what does this crouching S look like? Crouching H is his anti -air. Oh, I know what it looks like. Okay, it's really good. So, reduced recovery on that? Damn. Command normal five. Bish, what? Heavy slash while holding. F oh, S or while holding standing H. Okay. Can now withstand the opponent's attack until directly before the attack is active. Guard point, yeah. They just named it weird. Sweep. Expanded lower hit box. Let's go. Increased recovery. Let's go. Decreased knockback. That's good for him. Increased movement speed. Okay, now is more affected by dash momentum. He goes farther. I guess it, it now is punishable, though. Or easier to punish. Now launches opponent higher on counter hit. Okay, overall, I don't mind the reward. Jumping P, now launch opponent higher, launch opponent higher. Second hit, now launches opponent lower. Oh, that's the good one. That might be a good thing, though. Jumping H, now, decreased frontal hurt box. That button, really? Now launches opponent high lower. God damn, okay. My, boy, my boy's about to be in the air more. Now bounces opponent higher with decreased horizontal blowback distance. What? Okay, I guess, sure. This is a fireball. Increase attack startup, I think. Or DP. Oh, this is DP. When block midair, yeah, yeah, this is a universal DP nerf. So it's start lower, it doesn't start up as fast. Zweets Kaltz goes over, now crosses over behind opponent, even when they are in the corner. Oh, that's cool, so he can, he can take you out of the corner now. That's that's a good change. I will say that was really stupid. Whenever I was in the corner against Leo, I felt safer because he couldn't really he could get big damage, but like, you know, no mix, no no turn behind mix. That's cool. Turbulence. The opponent can now recover after landing. Don't know what move that is. But okay, cool. K during Benadryl stance. The increased damage his K does more. That triggers slow down effect on counter hit. Blitz slag, reduce base damage scaling. Now depletes less risk level. Reduced combo blowback scan. Now causes less wall break value gain. I don't know which button this is. It might be the super, the, the projectile super. Honestly, bro, he just got buffed. <laughs> like, I think Leo just got buffed on this patch. I, they made sweep less annoying, but overall, I would say that's a buff. Ogoriyuki. Crouching K, decrease knockback. Far standing S. Okay. Attack start now varies depending on the blood gauge. Oh! Damage and chip damage now varies depending on the blood gauge. Okay. Oh, that's what this is? Is overhead? Reduce base damage scaling. Good. Now it depletes less risk. Reduce combo black scan. Now causes less wall break value gain. Overhead slam. Yeah, okay. Good looks. Good looks. Good looks. Okay, so blood gauge matters on damage and chip now a lot more than ever. That's cool in startup, apparently. Farsane S, follow up. 
damage and chip damage. Blood gauge, blood gauge. Final crouchiness attack. Now start blood gauge. Oh, this could be good. Dude, this doesn't tell us enough. The priorities of moves such as far saying as crouchiness, not a very dependent blood gauge. This means there's a greater benefit of keeping the blood gauge higher than before. Okay. Now less advantageous. Uh, sorry, I didn't read that a lot. The later part of Fukio can now be canceled with some special moves. Upon opening of great possibilities for using Fukio in neutral. What the? Uh, crouching S, crouching H, reduce lower hit, hit box. Reduce lower hit box, crouching H. Oh, that's great. That's really good. Okay, it's more, yeah, it's it, it used to cover the ground and the air, so now it covers the ground less. You're my true son. I don't think you know what that means. Now launches higher with decreased horizontal blowback distance. Higher, yeah, jump yes. Attack start now varies on blood gauge. Damage and chip, yeah, yeah. Blood gauge, H. Jumping the attack now start it varies on blood gauge. Blood rage. Decreased opponent's reeling time during guard crush. Oh, okay, so guard crush doesn't last as long. Cool. I guess. Wait. Yeah, okay, so you can punish him even harder now. Wow. Zara Miyuki. Delay the, the timing when the blood gauge begins to increase. So, I don't remember what move this is, but essentially, blood gauge doesn't increase as fast. Or doesn't start up as fast, so he has some time to do other shit. I'm okay with that, I guess. Kumuri Yuki. Delay the time when the blood gauge begins to increase. Decrease knockback. Ugh, I don't know what these moves are. Dash. Slide, DP. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This one's DP. Nice. Appreciate you. For a PhD thesis. Fighting games, baby. The blood gauge begins to increase. Decrease knockback. Increase horizontal blowback distance. No longer causes collision detect detection. Uh, push box to expand. I still know. I, I still know which move this is. Increased movement distance. Movement. Increased movement distance. Momentum now remains when canceling the other special moves. Doodles clutch. True. It's Beyblade. Oh, this is Beyblade. Oh, why don't you say so? Increased movement distance. Damn. Increased recovery. Okay, so it's easier to punish. Thank God. Momentum now remains when canceling the other special moves. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Non-blood rate, blood gauge super. Ah. Shizuriki DP. Delayed the time when the blood gauge increased. Delayed the time when the blood gauge... Yeah. Added ground bounce effect on the second... Hit. What? All right. Fukio. Uh, dash. Yeah, yeah, it's dash. Delay the time when the blood gauge begins increased. The later half of the move can now be canceled into some special moves. Oh, shit. I used to tell everyone to punish that for free. Momentum now remains when canceling into other special moves. Okay, it makes sense. Increased recovery when the follow-up cinematic is now triggered. Now bounce the opponent higher when the initial hit connects without triggering the follow-up cinematic. When blocked midair, the opponent can now... Okay, cool. Geo. We made adjustments to emphasize the distinctive features of each special move. After Giovanna leaps up during Sol Puente, her forward movement can now be controlled with ba oh really backwards or forward inputs. This the reduced startup also increases Utilia's mix-up tool. That's cool. The decreased recovery of Trava or whatever uh, further strengthens its ability to maintain offensive pressure. Sol uh, Nascente now functions better as an anti-air move due to the expanded hitbox. Nice. Dash. Movement distance can now be altered with forward or backward inputs during the animation. Oh, shit. They're making Geo more complicated? I'm with it. No moves in command normals. Added chip damage when it over... Oh, so she has chip when she has a 50 tension? Oh, shit. That's so good. Yeah, I think... I, I know what her moves are, but good looks. At least I think I do. Could be wrong. I might forget. Sweep. Oh, wait, 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 we're not there. Decrease not bad, expand upper hip box and hurt box. Okay, so she can anti bro with crouching K. Cool. Far standing S. Decrease horizontal blowback distance. She doesn't hit people as far now. Oh, but that says not unblock as well. 
Which is actually a buff, because then they can't push block me away. Oh. Okay. I'm okay. Hey, that's that's a buff. First I thought it was a nerf, but I'm like, no, it's not. What the hell? Increased recovery of sweep. Good. No longer hits opponent when more than a set distance apart. <clears throat> oh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, honestly, 2D needed a nerf. That means Potemkin may now have the second, the best sweep in the game. <laughs> Jumping, because they didn't touch his sweep. Jumping P, now launches opponent higher with decreased horizontal blowback distance. Now launches opponent higher. All right, all right, it's the same shit. Uh, reduce upper hurt box. Oh, really? Okay. So it's a better air to air. Or jump, yeah, air to air jumping. Jumping H, now launches opponent lower. That's a nerf. Jump H, now launches opponent lower. Because she was doing jump H, D, jump H, D. So now they'll fall fat. We'll see. I think it'll just change things, but I, I'm not sure. Jumping D, decreased damage. Wow. The second hit now launches opponent higher. Okay, 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 okay. So she still can't do jump H, D. Less damage now, though. Weird. Reduce throw range. What? Get fucked, doodles. Holy shit. Sepultra, decreased damage, reduce lower hitbox. Okay, I lied, I forgot. Sepultra's 214K. Okay, good looks. Hey, thanks for typing those. Reduce lower hitbox and hurtbox. All right, so it doesn't hit people all crouching. So now, now people might be able to low profile it. That makes sense. Travo, spiral arrow. Okay, that's why I thought it was. Expand the maximum distance of the opponent with, from which it can connect. Oh, so it can connect farther. Increase active frames. Okay, reduced recovery. Ooh, yo, Spiral Arrow gain above. I know her moves. Soul in the Sentes, the anti air. Reduce lower hitbox and extend upper hitbox. Nice. Okay, reduce lower hitbox. You know damn well none of us know the name of the moves in this game. I know all Potemkin's move names. I know a lot of them, but not all of them, obviously. Sol Puente, all versions. Wait. Sol Puente. What? Hey, uh, thanks for the guide, man. DP, wait, DP Sol Point? Oh, when, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Oops. Sailor Hitbox and Hurtbox. Hitbox and hurt box. Movement distance now varies depending on forward or no no no. This is her flip kick. Yeah, yeah, no, this is Ant this is DP. This is her flip kick. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is her flip kick. Expand lower hitbox and her box. Movement distance now varies depending on forward, backwards during the animation. The opponent can now recover after landing. Opponent can now recover after landing. Okay, now bounce the opponent higher. Is it? My, she can she can't DP pot close slash anymore. Sold in the sente is DP. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I I was right. I was right. Cool, cool, cool. I was confused for a second. Advanced point higher. Increased recovery. Increased recovery. Oh, so it might not be as plus on block anymore. It was like plus four or some shit though. So it might still be plus. I could be wrong with the numbers. Increase attack level with the second hit. Reduce attack star above the second hit. A reduced attack startup of the second. Oh, shit. Oh, so it's easier to block, but you can control it more. Interesting. Slight. It's just a big change, but I'm not sure if it's a buff or a nerf. Soul Puente, now affected by momentum. Ventiana, increased attack startup. One of her supers. Uh, yeah. I, I, Geo's my secondary, so. I don't want her nerf, but some of the, I, honestly, it sounds like overall she got buffed, but it's hard to say. On the floor, okay, cool. Her, her, uh, yeah, spitting top. All right, Anji, time for you to get a thousand more buffs. Let's see what you got. Crouching K increased knockback, close standing S, recovery, far standing S, and reduced attack startup. Okay, reduced frontal hurt box. Okay, so his uh, poke button is a better poke button. They've buffed it twice now, but that's okay. Crouching S, reduced attack startup, reduced frontal hurt box, no longer encounter hit state after the active frames end. No longer, oh, that's good. That That's good. I think that is stupid. Overall, I'm okay with this. 
Still scary, though. Make him a... He's now a better character with just these two changes. Standing H. Opponent is now in forced crouching state on ground and counter. Oh, really? Opponent is now forced crouching state on standing H? That's huge. That is huge. Jumping P. Launches higher. Launches higher. Jumping H. Now launches opponent higher. What's his H? Can't think of his H. Jumping H. I think a D. The umbrella. Ah, well, it's probably just like a fucking swipe down or some shit. Now launches opponent higher with decreased horizontal blowback distance. Jump D. Expanded frontal hitbox and reduced hurt box. Oh, okay, cool. Shitsu. The projectile now decelerates when close to the corner. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so he's bare Oki now. Oh, shit. Shih Tzu. Wow. Potemkin got this buff too with his super. That's cool. So they're trying to make it so you have better Oki with these. That's dope. Especially because Anji's supposed to be an Oki king. Uh, Fujin. Reduced recovery. Reduced recovery of Fujin? W why? Oh, when he doesn't do anything out of it. Oh, I'm okay with that. Never mind. I'm okay with that. Fujin charge. Increase attack. Le Wait. Is Fujin the spin or is Fujin the, the blow? No, Fujin's the attack. Yeah, you know, Fujin's the attack. Not the spin. Yeah, fu re less recovery on Fujin. Right? Fujin charge. Inc increase attack level. No longer launches pun on grounded hit. Okay. The air projectile. Fujin follow up. Uh, Nagia flow, Fujin follow up, Rin overhead, Fujin follow up, Kyo spin in the air. Kyo. Shin Ichi Shiki, increase attack level. Oh, yes. Air project, air. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The fan thrown down. Thank you. Uh, Nagia, increase attack startup. Thank you, Doodles. You're wonderful. Low Fujin follow up. Got it. Increase attack startup. Oh, wow. So it's easier to block. Rin, reduce attack. Overhead. That's what I figured. Uh, reduce attack startup. Okay. Reduce recovery. Okay. Dope. I'm I'm cool with that, to be honest. Now depletes less risk. Decrease combo. But back scaling for combos with Rin as a starter. Now causes less wall break value gain. Decrease combo. Blow back scaling for combo. So he does more damage? Might be reading that wrong. Less wall break value gain. Now bounce opponent lower with decrease horizontal blow back distance. Cool. Yo, decrease damage of the second hit. The opponent can now recover after landing. Spin in the air. Okay, cool. Decrease damage on the second hit. Opponent can now recover after landing. Cool. Isai Ogisai. Increase damage. Hopefully that's just his projectile super. Giant fans are okay, cool. Good looks. Hey, a decent buffs, not all buffs. So I bet every the, all those little nerfs they're gonna be like, fuck them, fuck them, re because the startup was low and overhead are changed. But maybe they match up. Be cool, but doubtful. Eno, specializing at close. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> I'm scared because Eno's a bad matchup for a bot. Air dash. Trajectory can now be altered with up and down inputs. That's huge. That is going to make her so much more complicated than before. But oh my god, that's huge. Air back dash. Trajectory can now be altered. Cool. Crouching P. Reduce attack start. Oh, she has a faster crouching P. Her crouching P is really good. Crouching K. Decrease knockback. Reduce upper hurt box. Oh, shit. She can low profile with crouching K now? Oh, no. Close standing S. Reduce recovery. Crouching S. Reduced attack startup. It's so good. What? Expand frontal hitbox and hurtbox. Expanded frontal hitbox. Okay, and goes farther. Dude, I am not. <laughs> I'm scared. Jumping P. Now launch opponent higher. Jumping K. Now launch opponent higher. Expand back hitbox and hurtbox. Oh, so now she can cross up easier with jumping K. Interesting. Antidepressant scale. Is that a projectile? Oh, yeah, yeah. Directory is now easier to alter with up and down inputs after activation. Projectile now appears even when the move is roaming cancel at an earlier point than before. Fix the boat where the attack would sometimes remain on screen longer than intended after the hitbox disappears. Aerial antipresent scale. Increase the moment movement speed of the projectile. Increase recovery. Oh. So it goes fast in the air. Increase recovery. Okay. Chemical of increase active frames.
That is so shitty. You guys have no idea how shitty this is for pot. I literally just laughed the other day about, oh, I should probably try to stand up and walk for it and punish her a little bit. But now because it's more active, that means I have to get up later, so I have less of a chance to actually punish in chemical love. <sighs> Stroke the big tree. I understand why it's good for most characters, but for pot, that's a fucking death sentence. Stroke the big tree, H version. Increased recovery. Oh, really? Increased recovery, so that means it's it's less plus. Increased stagger duration. Oh, shit, so she can combo easier. Decreased knockback on hit. Okay, so double-edged sword. I'm cool with that. Soul tree performance. I don't know what that is. Final hit during the active frames now is the same property. Oh, is that her? I think that's her dive kick thing. I could be wrong. Number of hits. Ultimate Fortismo. How do you like the funny pot changes? They're okay. They they seem pretty good. Uh, these Eno buffs are going to make my life hell, but... Um, yeah, seems pretty good. We'll see. I like the, I, I like it for the most part, but some of the things I'm kind of questioning. Um, ultimate Fortismo. Increase attack startup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, really? Oh, wait, really? Increase attack startup. That's, I think that's her DP super, I guess. Or aerial ultimate for, yeah, 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 it is. Eno can no longer land as the move comes out. No longer lands. Oh, so she has inc what? She has she's less plus, but still plus. Gold Lewis, we're finally in DLC territory. Holy shit! I, I want to get done with these. But harder again, lol. I saw YouTube thing when I was scrolling through YouTube. Hope you're doing all right, Aka. Extended lower hitbox. Oh, so 6P is a lower hitbox? Okay, cool. I'm okay with that. Crouching K, decreased knockback, reduced recovery. Reduced recovery. Oh, it's safer. Close standing S. Reduced recovery. Why didn't it talk about 5, 5K? What? I guess it, the only change... What? The only change is you can dash cancel it now, I guess, which is fine. It is like 8 active frames or 7 active frames or some shit. Close standing S. Reduced recovery. Far saying S now moves forward. Reduced frontal hurt box. Ooh. His his uh his go-to poke now moves his body forward. That's cool. Reduced frontal hurt box. I don't like that. I don't like that. Standing H makes it easy harder to whip punish, but whatever. It'd probably be that bad. Standing H, expanded frontal hitbox. Expanded frontal hitbox. Standing H. Is that where he slams his coffin down? I think so. I'm okay with it being farther. It's pretty low already. 6H, increased movement speed. Increased movement speed. Now maintains momentum. So he can dash 6H. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> I like it just because it's funny. Jump P launches higher. Jump K launches higher. Jump S, reduced frontal hitbox. Okay. That's, why did they, all the, all the like horizontal jump S's, they're making them better. Which I'm kind of scared of, but his did need a buff. The other two, Milia and Kai, did not need a buff. But okay. Reduced frontal hurt box, jump D. Reduced frontal hurt box, reduced attack startup. Oh shit, it's faster now. Okay. Thunderbird. Wait, just jump D is so good. What do you mean, reduced attack startup? I was about to just be like, oh, okay, cool. What the? Thunderbird. <sighs> Which one's Thunderbird? Thunderbirds, the bomb. Yeah, the bomb. Delay the time of the security level reset. Recovers now varies depending on the security level. Thunderbird. Oh, wait, recovery now varies depending on the security level. Oh, shit. Clash level now varies depending on the security level. The projectile now decelerates when close to the corner. Oh, okay, so just like Pot and Anji is more oaky with it. Active frames now extend after connecting with the opponent. Decreased horizontal blowback distance except for the final hit. The timing when the hitbox no longer disappears. If Goldos takes damage, at oh, the timing when the hitbox. Wait, let me read this again. The timing when the hitbox no longer disappears. If Goldos takes damage after firing the projectile, not varies depending on the security level. So if he's a high security level, it won't leave the screen. Because I love six Hing. I love when they try to run up and I six H through it. Weird. Remove the set distance with the opponent required for the final hit to connect. The opponent can no longer recover after landing. It's a hard knockdown now? Oh, shit. 
Oh, dude, they made Thunderbird way better. They said we want Oki to be we want his Oki to be stronger. Holy shit, Skyfish, that's its gun. Delay the timing of the security level reset. Okay, down with the system. When blocked, mid down with the system is is super, I think. When blocked midair, the opponent now lands more quickly. Okay, yeah. Burn it down, reduce recovery, increase attack level. Oh wow, his other super is laser super. Weird. Yeah. Um, uh, Jacko. They'll probably buffer, which I'm a little scared of, but oh well. Due to the increase to the final uh, to the initial servant gauge level, Jacko now has more freedom to use servants in neutral or combos right after the round start. Good. I I have three Jacko mains at my local. One of them complained about this, and I do agree with them. Throw servant and servant hit by servant shoot. Would often lose against other projectiles despite requiring more steps to activate. This has been improved by increasing the clash level of servants. <clears throat> That's scary. Servant gauge. Increased gauge value at round start. Nice. She was the only character in the whole entire game. That's meter started at zero. Every other character with meter started all the way up. So it, that's what their complaint was. They're like, why can't I not just pull out a servant at round start while other people can't? Or other people, Zotto can summon Eddie at round start. Feel like that. Not that you would want to, but, you know. Crouchy B, reduced attack startup. Gra oh, wow. Okay. Standing K, reduced recovery. Crouching K, reduced recovery. Can't think of where 5K looks like right now. Crouching K, reduced attack startup. Reduce recovery, decrease knockback. God damn. With the recovery, the rest makes sense. Or, and the startup. Damn. Well, actually, that's crazy. Close standing S. Reduce recovery, crouching age, decrease horizontal blowback distance. Okay. Sweep, reduced attack startup. Her sweep is faster? Oh, no. Jumping P, now launch spell higher, launch spell higher, jumping H, expand the lower hitbox and hurtbox the initial hit. Okay. Honestly, it is very hard for her to cross up easily, so I get that. Jump D can now be jump canceled and air dash canceled. Okay. Can now be canceled into a special move. What? Her jump D is the fireball, so she can cancel the fireball into a special move? Okay. Let me cancel into a finishing blow during a homing jump. I don't know what homing jump is. Throw servant, all versions, reduce recovery, increase clash level of the servant. Release servant, all versions, made the time and the tension gauge increase upon special move activation faster. Recover servant, reduce recovery. Recover servant, all versions, white while lifting a servant. Made the time and the tension gauge increase upon special move activation faster. That command, all versions, reduce attack star by recovery, no changes to frame advantage. Okay, that's just when they attack. Reduce attack startup and recovery. No change to frame advantage. Oh, okay. So they just made it faster and then... Okay, it makes sense. Scary. I mean, it's going to be harder to flick. <laughs> Damn it. It's already, like, super quick. Attack command all versions while lifting up a servant. Made the time and attention gauge. Attack command now deals more damage. Wait, what? Attack command all versions now deals damage. Huh? I think this I think this is supposed to say now deals more damage. Because attack command does deal with damage. Oh whatever. Increase the time window during which servant can withstand attacks. Okay, so they're out blocking longer. As a hitbox now. Oh, Okay, I'm actually cool with that. That's that's fun. Increase the time window during the servants can be a sand attack, span the servant's hitbox, defend command all versions while lifting a servant. Made the time of the tension gauge increase upon the while lifting countdown. Made the time of the tension gauge increase upon special move activation faster. Servant shoot. Uh increased active frames and reduced recovery. No changes to frame advantage. Which which one is servant shoot? Is it when they blow up or is it when she kicks them? I assume it's when she kicks them. Increase active frames or do oh yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's her kick. It's her kick. I know what it is. It, it's it's her her kick special. Increase active frames and reduce recovery. No change to frame advantage. Increase the clash level of servant. Redu oh right, right. So now she can kick them in. Okay. Aerial servant shoot. Reduced 
deceleration, command hitbox and hurtbox. Forever Elson Driver, her Potemkin Super, I assume. Servants are now recovered immediately upon activation. Oh no, that's her other that's her other super. Alright, happy chaos. Let's see if all the bitching worked. Because it definitely did not work with Ram and Leo. They got slightly tweaked. I wouldn't even say they got nerfed. I would say Leo got buffed, but slightly tweaked. Concentration. Amount of concentration depleted while readying the gun now varies depending on distance with the opponent. Huh. That is an interesting change. So from farther away, I would assume it takes more concentration than closer up. Interesting. Crouching P, re reduce attack startup. Cool. I guess. Crouching K, decrease knockback. Close staying S, reduce recovery. Far staying S, increase knockback, reduce rec Why'd they make this safer? I guess it's, it's still probably punishable. Increase movement speed. Crouching S, expanded upper hitbox in her box. Okay, well, at least her box goes up too. Jumping P, now launch his opponent higher. Jumping K, now launch his opponent higher. Jumping. Jump. Oh, right. His, his uh, hop or bounces. Reduce attack startup. Reduce recovery after connecting with the opponent. Increase height of bounce after connecting with the opponent. Oh, so he stays closer. At the ready. Uh, reduce recovery. Increase base damage scaling. Why? Increase base damage scaling. Now depletes more risk level. Increase combo blowback scaling. Okay. These are good. So more scaling off this move. Increase combo blowback scaling combos with the ready starter. Now causes more wall break value gain. Now causes more wall break value gain. Okay. Fire. Hitbox now disappears when chaos takes damage. It didn't do that before? Oh, I guess it didn't. Decrease knockback. It's a buff for him. Decrease knockback. I think. Because it's not steady aim. Yeah. Steady aim does less damage. Nice. Made the time of the attention gauge increase upon special move activation faster. Okay, so he loses attention faster. Reduce recovery after exiting stance with... uh, with well, That's not reload. Reduce recovery after exiting stance with... Oh, that's how you just normally put it away. Oh, okay. Reload. Made that. Please let this have more recovery frames, please. Made the time of the tension gauge increase upon special animation faster. Chaos now remains in counter hit state until the end of the animation. Okay, that's cool. Oh, but they didn't make it. They made it the same speed. Damn, I wanted them to add like at least two more frames of recovery, but I guess not. Focus made the time of the tension gauge increase upon special move activation faster. Okay, makes sense. Roll can now use fire sooner than before. Oh, I actually like that change. I when I played Happy Chaos for a little bit, I was kind of upset how long it took me to shoot. That's cool. Increase movement speed. Scapegoat increase health depletion on activation. Increased. Oh, you lose more health for the for the uh, clone. Properties now vary when activated at low health. Okay, curse. Effect now ends when chaos takes damage. Let's go. That's huge. Made the timing of the tension gauge. Okay, honestly, I like these adjustments. I, I have always said it. I, I hate when they just put... like I like that these nerfs are pretty much pretty fair. The only thing I want to say about this whole thing... Ram, Ram, Leo, and Happy Chaos all got nerfed. Happy Chaos definitely got the biggest end of the or the worst end of the stick. But why did they nerf Soul so hard? Soul so far has got the shittiest end of the deal out of any character I've seen. The only thing they gave him is Dust Loops. That's <laughs> like that's it. He got a better his his uh his uh Dragon install and his he got Dust Loops. His Dragon install got better. Than he's got Dust Loops. Besides that, they kind of just fucking nerf the boy. Nerf for no, yeah, and Kai got hyper buffed, so now it's like all the fucking soul players are probably just gonna move over to Kai, unless like obviously it's we we don't have it in our hands, but yeah, on display, yeah, it's weird. Like Leo got adjusted. I still I think Leo got buffed. Ram got adjusted in a very fair way. I like it. Happy Chaos seems like he got adjusted in a very fair way. I'm kind of into it, but then Soul just got like super nerfed I, <laughs> I i was expecting after i read souls i thought all these characters are gonna get hyper nerfed nah they're just eh, it's just soul he was he was too broken the first patch so biking 
Standing P, reduced attack startup. Nice. Crouching K, decrease knockback. 6K, that's her kick. N momentum now remains when canceled. Oh, oh, that's cool. So she like, ju she like, like lunges forward a little bit. So now when you special cancel, she'll keep the momentum. That's really cool. Um, hearing that the overhead might not be as useful or useful made me sad, but this is looking good so far. Both standing S, reduced recovery. Far standing S, reduced, attack, uh, reduced attacks. Oh, that's her poke. Reduced frontal hurt box. Ooh, her poke got better. God damn. Crouching S, reduced recovery. Oh my god. Hey. We get in the we get in the low tier treatment on biking. Crouching H. No longer hits opponent when more than a set distance apart. What's her crouching H? Oh, I know what it is. It's the giant fucking fist. No longer hits opponent when more than a set distance apart. Reduced upper hurt hurt box. Reduced upper hurt box. Wow. May and Soul got, got yeah, May kind of got fucked up too, but May May's got some cool changes. He isn't even performing. Well. Hey, he's performing well where I live, so I'm cool with it. Uh, there, there's so many Leo and there's so many Leo and fucking Soul players where I live. It's crazy. Jumping P. Now I just bump higher and decreases the horizontal blowback distance. Jumping K. Yeah, yeah. To top to top, guys. Now activates even after an upwards input. A now activates even after an upwards input. Okay, expanded frontal hitbox to strike. This might be a nerf, right? Uh, aerial tatami guy. She expanded hit back hitbox of the projectile during descent. They had back hitbox. Okay, so she has a hitbox closer to her. Cool. Kabari S version. Now activates even after an upward input. Increased attack. Increased attack startup. It takes longer to do the tether. Wow. Reduced recovery. Okay, so it's longer to do the tether, but then it's safer on block. Okay, I guess that's a fair trade. Increased knockback. I think that's a good thing for her. Yeah, because it's hard to punish. And well, they reduce recovery. On grounded hit, the tether no longer pulls the opponent in during the animation. Okay, I'll be. That's one of those things like you got to kind of see. Kabari H. Now activates even. Yeah, now less affected by combo and blowback scaling. Now less affected by combo blowback scaling. Okay, so damage buff slightly. Kabari H. Follow up. Now triggers counter hit effect. Oh, shit. Nice. I didn't know it didn't do it before. Blowback direction now matches the direction biking is facing. Expand lower hitbox. I guess people could low profile it. That's why they did that. Weird. No longer encounter hit state after the active frames end. That's good. I think it's stupid. Besides supers when that happens. No longer his hits opponents when more than a set distance apart. Or, or reverse. Oh, it should only be like that on reversals. Hits opponents when more than a set distance apart. Increased recovery on block. Increased recovery on block. I like this. That is that is very good. Yes, I think that's actually fair. Yo, Zen Zen. Reduce landing recovery. This is her uh this is her overhead, right? Reduce landing recovery. Increase damage. Right? That's the overhead, right? So they, they got rid of it. I love biking. So I believe this is her instant overhead. So they got rid of the instant overhead. At least they think they did. And they now make it do more damage and have less landing recovery. Okay, honestly, hey, kind of a fair trade, but we'll see. It's one of those things you got. You get, people have to play. Hiragi reduce recovery after successfully parry as well as when unsuccessful. Oh, okay, cool. I don't mind that. When blocked midair, uh, Surun Sanzu Watashi. That's her sword super. When blocked midair, the opponent now lands more quickly than before. Or is that her gun? Increase attack startup. Increased attack startup, decreased knockback. Wait, which one is this? They did not get rid of it. I don't know. They didn't make sense when we were just assuming. Yeah, they. So, what what I read, I could be mistaken, is that they're trying to get rid of Tiger Knee. So effect that mostly affects uh, Biken and fucking Axel, right? So they gave Axel more combo tools or things to combo off of so he doesn't have to use his fucking uppercut. And then they made her jump thing have less for landing recovery and increased damage. So as an as a dash tool, it seems like it'll be a lot better 
but she can't use it as an instant overhead, I think. I could be way wrong. When blocked midair, the opponent... Yeah, yeah. Test him. Oh, this should be the last one. Nice. Moves such as Grave Reaper have been... Ah, let's read it. Crow. Fix a bug where the crow would sometimes not behave as intent after a wall break sequence. They didn't fix the T-pose. Air dash. Shorten dash time. Oh, shit. Adjusting the values to match other characters. Okay. That's, that's good. Jump landing, I think. Uh, jump landing. Fix a bug where testaments or hurt box would sometimes disappear at, at the instant of landing. Good fix. Standing K reduced recovery. Crouching K. Oh, standing K reduced recovery. That's huge. It's like one of her go-to buttons. Crouching K decreased knockback. Reduced attack startup. Again, very good. Close standing S reduced recovery. Far standing at. Ooh, this is where it gets scary. Reduced attack startup. Reduced recovery, reduced frontal hurt box. Huh? Okay. Crouching ass, reduced attacks, <laughs> reduced frontal hurt box. Hey, all those people talking shit about bike and about to eat their words. What the fuck is this? She got the bottom tier treatment like fucking the other two characters did. And Kai got this treatment for some reason. I have no idea why. Crouching at uh, standing H. Reduced recovery. That's eh, okay. 6H. Decreased horizontal blueback distance. Please don't. Okay. Reduce attack startup. Wow. I kind of needed it. I'm not going to lie. Jumping P. Now launch bone higher. Launch bone higher. Reduces frontal hurt box. Same thing with all the vertical fucking jump S's. Grave Reaper. That's the projectile. Now it makes even after an upwards input. Succubus remains on screen longer. Okay. That oh, that's cool. Succubus remains on screen longer, so she can teleport for longer. That's cool. Or right, and shoot the crow towards it longer. Ground grave reaper. Wait. <laughs> oh, only to the ground version. Expended frontal hitbox and her box with a strike. Okay. So you can whiff punish it easier, slash you can get a hit easier. That's cool. I, I like that change. Uh Grave Reaper S version. The strike is hit now launches the opponent higher oh okay that's good i think combo yes h version expand the lower hitbox expand the lower hitbox the projectile as it comes out you know honestly that's a buff for me for any other character that's a ner that, that sucks for them but for pot that's a buff because that means i can flick it easier grave reaver <laughs> all s versions Expand back hitbox of the projectile. Oh, wow. It's harder to jump. Okay. Grave Reaper, H, or reduced attack startup. Wow. The H version has reduced attack startup. Grave Reaper, all version. Fix a bug where it would sometimes hit multiple times. That happens to me sometimes, actually. I'm not going to lie. Unholy Diver. Ooh, what's Unholy Diver? I don't know which one that is. Now launches opponent higher with decreased horizontal blowback distance. Increase active frames after succubus transformation. Oh. Is that her teleport? Or sorry, their tel teleport? Succubus transformation. Expanded a hitbox after succubus transformation. The crow will no longer wait. Oh, this is the crow. Oh okay, let me read this again. Now launch his opponent higher. Increase active frames after succubus transformation expanded hitbox after sideways transformation the crow will now always fly forward in a straight line when the button is held even if a succubus is on screen that's weird but okay possession now activates even after upwards input okay cool that's the teleport arbiter sign all version reduce recovery arbiter sign i think that's the the summon reduced recovery i think that's what that is this is super. Initial hit now bounces upon a higher with decreased horizontal blowback distance. Calamity one. When blocked midair, the opponent. Oh, wait, no, that's the. Wait, what's Nostrobia? I don't know. Whatever. We're done. All right, guys. Appreciate you guys all watching. I got to go to bed. I did not think this would take this long. Uh, Yeah. Cool. Go to bed. Yes, papa. Who's stream?